Hi everyone, Renee here, and today we're talking about masking in the shower. That's right, this is kind of a thing now. I feel like when it comes to skincare, either you don't have the time or can't even imagine allotting the kind of time it takes to have a, a multi-step routine, or you're someone who absolutely embraces and loves the ritual. I've absolutely been both, although I veer more towards the latter because it is such a therapeutic part of my day now. Plus, my skin actually really needs it. Either way, whatever we use, we like results. And that is the purpose of a shower mask. It's to help us multitask. So we were introduced to this whole idea of masking in the shower from Blythe. I did a whole review on Blythe's splash mask. Please go watch it if you haven't already. And I talk about all the different ways that uh, you can actually use this. The way I use it is in the shower. This product was actually created to accommodate the needs of a busy modern lifestyle where we don't actually have a lot of time to pamper ourselves. In fact, most of the time we have to schedule an appointment to do that. So they created a highly concentrated product that would just whip your skin in shape in a matter of seconds. And they deliver the same results in much shorter time as masks that we usually put on our face for like 20 to 30, maybe sometimes even much longer. I was actually quite excited when I first saw this appear and I've been eager to try it. So I am gonna do a bit of a comparison with the Blythe Splash Mask so you know the differences, but it's not really gonna be a smackdown. I was actually really happy to find that these are very different products. So application wise, these are applied after cleansing your skin and I usually do it in the shower or over the sink. So this is primarily a retexturizing treatment. It uses AHAs like lactic acid and a touch of salicylic to really give your skin that smooth softness, that gentle exfoliation. There's there's also a bunch of wonderful ingredients in here, plant oils and extracts that really sort of nourish your skin as well. This on the other hand is really different. This is one of Bosch's newest launches. Their Tsubaki Splash Mask is a highly concentrated instant deep hydration treatment. Tsubaki or Camellia is absolutely one of my favorite ingredients and in formulas. Usually products that are concentrated with Camellia oil or extracts are very moisturizing. So just a little background, Bosch is a Japanese brand and their name stands for Botanical Science and they are the first ever 100% preservative-free skincare brand. They use all Japanese skincare innovation and technology to create really highly effective products that don't have the harsh effects of preservatives. So this is very different from the Blythe in that it doesn't use any chemical retexturizers, but this is a rice water mask. That's what women used to do. They used to use the leftover rice water to splash on their face, and it would give them this ridiculously smooth skin. But it also has camellia oil and rice bran oil. Their antioxidants oxidant rich and they really help the skin retain moisture so you don't see those fine lines. It also has Bosch's own botanical blend of jojoba and willow herb, which really calms inflammation, reduces redness and irritation. There's also ginseng, aloe, and green tea, everything I love. Also being preservative free, you have to be very mindful of packaging. And I absolutely love that this comes in a pump. This is what Blythe needs to do because it makes the application just so much better. It's just so much less clumsy and so much less product is being wasted. And I feel like the pumps deliver a perfect measure. For me, one pump for the entire face is just perfection. I dispense it into my wet hands, I just go like this, and then I pat it on my wet face. Don't rinse it off. Because it's not a lot of product, you actually feel like it disappears, but it doesn't. It does something to your skin. This has such an aromatherapeutic, soothing, soothing scent. My skin feels awesome after this, really hydrated. This is actually perfect for the drier winter months. The other time I really love using this is during my morning cleanse. I splash my face with water and then I use this, pat it in, and then after this, I really don't feel like I need toner or essence or I just go straight to moisturizer. This is something you can use every single day since it doesn't have any harsh chemical exfoliants or harsh anything in the formula. And that's exactly what I've been doing. This is another brand that I've been excited about, Make Prem. I really get thrown off by these semicolons in the middle of a word. This is the Wonderful Me in Shower Face Pack. This is one of the best-selling products in the entire brand. Man, people really love their shower time. So this is unlike the Splash Mask in that this is a traditional mask that you put on while you're in the shower. What allows this mask to pull that off is its texture. It is this cohesive gel texture that goes on your skin and is not easily moved. You apply it on cleansed skin, you can apply it on damp or dry skin, I usually do it on dry, and then you just basically hop in the shower. If you're just taking a shower and not washing your hair, this is not gonna budge. If you are washing your hair, however, this will eventually kind of thin out, especially around your forehead, depending on how powerful your shower stream is. The water will run down your face and it will go in your eyes, 
but the mask will not. Whatever is around your eyes will not move and go in. You do want to be careful when you're rubbing the water out of your eyes. You don't want to sort of remove half the mask too. This is not sticky at all. It's a wonderful gel of hyaluronic acid. It has the triple berry extracts of blackberry, raspberry, and blueberry. Super antioxidants. It's exactly the same ones that are in the purple berry Blythe Splash Mask. This also has a lot of Centella Asiatica, which is great for healing and soothing the skin. Algae and a bunch of wonderful roots and seed extracts. This has a very light scent that is barely noticeable, but I mean, it is there. I'm very liberal with my application of this because the water will sort of thin the mask out a bit, but it hangs in there. So I remember reading an article recently about how when you shower, it's actually really bad for the skin on your face because especially when you're washing your hair, all of the soap and the conditioner, all of that kind of runs into your face. And it can actually be really harsh on your skin. A lot of times when we come out of a shower, our skin is red and stressed and really dry. Having this gooey mask on my skin really kind of shields it from all the shampoo and all the soap that comes down. I mean, you could use this mask outside the shower as well. You'll get the same results. I just think it's really handy that it's got the texture and adherence to your skin that allows it to stay on just longer when you're in there. Your skin is gonna be soft, moisturized, not as red. I also, for comparison purposes, did try some other rinse off masks um, in the shower just to see. Well, you can't do it with clay masks, but the other ones would run into my eyes when I was washing my hair and when water poured down my face, it, yeah. So that's my review of these shower mask packs. It's just so great to have these options. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.